biggest question that I've been getting is, is why are you closing the doors? And really the real reason is, is this right here. It's a Friday night and uh, the shop is completely empty. Yeah, we don't like to see that. That was Jay Bliznak, the owner of Sideshow Gelato in Lincoln Square. He says late empty nights, like he just showed us, is forcing him to close after just a year open. It is a quirky combination of circus sideshow thrills with a sweet twist of gelato being served. And this past weekend, Jay kind of tossed out a Hail Mary on social media to try and save his shop. And it definitely caught our eye and we decided to invite Jay in this morning. We appreciate you being here. We know you were no stranger to CBS News Chicago because oh, Joe yeah. Donlin tagged along with you for a few hours. Yeah, that was right? wonderful. Yeah, That's that was great. great. That's great. How would you describe the show? How would you describe what you all do? Okay, so I mean, I think generally that's been kind of our problem in finding our audience. Um, people are like, well, what are you doing? Are you a gelato shop that has a venue are you a venue that is a gelato shop um and you know i've been doing a lot of soul searching you, you do like what what did i do wrong if i were to do this over again um i think the thing is is that I, uh what we do is very artistic um my gelato i have a handful of of our average flavors that we do really well we do vegan flavors as well but i like to do quirky unusual strange flavors to challenge people to to you know and the shop is like that too uh sideshow is very challenging uh for some people um if i were to do this again i would sell this more of like an, an art immersive experience because I think people can't wrap their head around they're confused by what, what it is, is but art seems to like be a nice blanket that everybody goes oh I don't understand it well it's art you know it's yeah, that sort of that's thing. It. So Jay I want to ask you um, you put out this Hail Mary on social media mm -hmm. we know it is so tough for small businesses to yeah. survive in Chicago we've just seen them open and close what have you faced as far as you know having to potentially close now um, well, I mean, it's been a lot of things. It's been the uh, the economy or the perception of the economy, uh, cost of goods. We've had some problems with the city that I'm not going to go too deeply into, but yeah. they've affected us financially. Um, it's It's been sort of just like a perfect storm that brought us to where we are and and you know we really don't want to disappear right. um and we've we've you know got some plans to kind of stay around in some way or another if we had to close the brick and mortar but right now and jay real quick because we have very little time yeah. left because we want to get to the really important question right. which is how can people help out if okay. they want to? okay we got we got shows all the time we got three great shows uh this weekend we got cassie rose's birthday show friday we've got side shows on saturdays uh, we have uh, uh, Jonas uh, the Magician on Sunday. Um, it's going to be, you know, things like that. We have a vegan market coming up wow. around Thanksgiving where, where people whose families don't know how to cook for them can go and pick up food to take, take with them. Things like that. Come do that. Um, if you can't, if you can spare it, give to our GoFundMe campaign. Try to help us out any way we can. Um, but like I said, this is a Hail Mary. This is kind of like, yeah. well, let's see if we can make it past December. Well, we're really hoping that you do. Yeah. So hopefully people will show up, you know, and have it. Does, it sounds like a lot of fun. And really we does. try. We try to. Yeah. You know, I mean, granted, we're not for everybody, but then what is, right? What That's is? true. You've got to give it a try. Thank you yeah. so much, Jay. Thank